Please to know how excited you are about his party. No, it's not that. So, so this is the millionth leaving party I've been to. They're all the same. Elaine will get up and make some boring speech. I'll eat too much cake and go to bed feeling sick. Oh, come on, Tracy. It's not all doom and gloom. If you say so. Right, close your eyes. Why? Well, I want to make a wish. And there's more chance of it working if we've all got our eyes shut. I wish something really cool would happen this weekend. Maybe involving J-Lo wanting me to support her on a worldwide tour. But I realised that might be pushing it. OK, open your eyes. How did you do that? Hi, Tracy. Sorry, J-Lo's not been in touch, but we're planning a picnic in the park tomorrow. Fancy coming? When you say we, do you mean you and Gary? Of course. Thanks, but no thanks. Give me strength. What exactly is it you want, Tracy? Um, can I just say that life in Elm Tree House without lol is going to be like Marks without Spencer's like rolls without... Ham. <laughs> Royce. Hey, steady on. I think what Elaine is trying to say is, no, we're all gonna miss you. So good luck and... Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Good idea. Presenting the amazing, the incredible, the miraculous fortune teller, Madame Alicio. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just the goldfish bowl you turned upside down? Yeah, where's Charles and Camilla? Swimming in the sink, we're fine. Who will be the first to cross Madame Melissio's palm with silver? Come on, Madame Melissio. It's my party. Must be entitled to a freebie. OK, then. Your path is very clear. I see you leaving on a long journey. Well, dear. You may leave many friends behind, but... Your future is a happy one. any silver, but I'll give you a wine gum. Mm, OK, as long as it's a red one. Oh, this is pathetic. Oh, the fogs of the future are slowly clearing. They are. Your years are unfolding in front of me. Yes, I can see something. You're surrounded by love, wisdom, youth. And, and, a dog. Yeah, like, that's really going to happen. OK, be connected. And if you don't see me lounging in a Beverly Hills mansion, you are rubbish. You must be able to see something. A jacuzzi or a private jet. No, it's all cloudy and murky. It's all right, Tracy. I can tell you exactly where you're going to be this time next year. You'll be 16 and off to the halfway house. Like me.
You're up a bit late, aren't you? You all right, kiddo? Fine. Do you want to talk? The trouble shared is worth two in the bush? Or is it something about cooks? I'm not sure. I do know that a stitch in time stops your trousers from falling down. How long have I been there, Mike? <sighs> Six years, on and off. Much has changed, has it? I'm still here. You're still trying to cheer me up. <laughs> You're still rubbish at it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm leaving here next year. What am I going to do? Destiny's all dark and murky. All I've got to look forward to is the halfway house. What's your future, is it? You know, Cam has never let you down. It's not an option anymore. Let me tell you a story about me when I was about your age. My father, who I adored, walked out on us. I know, I know. But there's a point to this story, OK? I swore that I would never forgive him. So for 10 years, I had no contact. Then, one day I decided to meet him, you know, just to tell him what I thought of him. And you know what I discovered? He still loved me. And I still loved him. It's just my mom he didn't love. And your point is? I wasted 10 years of time with my father because I had made up my mind to be stubborn. But you know the great thing about the future? It's dead easy to change if you want to. Twice. How many more times? Just once more, please. I still can't believe what I'm hearing. I would like to come on a picnic with you and Gary. Fantastic! <laughs> so, should we make it next weekend? No, today. Why? What's the rush? I don't want you changing your mind. Be ready at two. Mwah. Looks like a nice spot. Yeah, it's great. If it's all right with Tracy. Is this all right with you, Tracy? Hi. I mean, we can go closer to the duck pond if you want. No, this is OK. Are you sure? Because we don't have to stay here if you don't want to. Gary, you're trying too hard. I reckon if everything goes all right today, Tracy would be good to be out of here. Yeah. Seems like everyone's even except me. Won't be the same without you, mate. It's not goodbye, Wolfie. I demand you come and visit me at least once a week. You got some serious fishing to do, mate. <laughs> well, they've been gone for over three hours, and that's got to be a good sign. Yeah. Oh, Gary's ended up in casualty. <laughs> Is it? I've forgotten the knives and forks. <sighs> Which is fine, actually, because I've forgotten the food as well. <laughs> Honestly. Last week she went shopping and forgot where she parked the car, spent an hour looking for it, and then realised that she hadn't taken it in the first place. <laughs> I remember we bought this oven. She used up a whole box of matches trying to light it, and then she remembered it was electric. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> What? The TV say that today's going to be a disaster for Tracy. Good. You know you don't mean that. You know you want everything to go OK. Oh, go stick your head down the toilet. Ow! <laughs> 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 
Bloke. I can't understand why you lot were so horrible to him. Us. Oh, Mike, I won't need any dinner for tonight. We had such a great time. They're taking me out for a posh meal. Disaster for Tracy, then, was it? Looks like you got it wrong again, Madam Membo Jumbo. Uh, the tea leaves are never wrong, Roxy. Yeah, what changed your mind? Well, I finally realised how important it is to be mature about this. I mean, Gary's just a boyfriend. They'll come and go. But it's mine and Cam's relationship that's important. Now, enjoy your cheese on toast, or whatever bounce is cooking for dinner, and don't wait up. <laughs> I've never seen someone eat so much in one sitting. Dumping ground pancake eating champion, three years running. And uh, lunch was a bit thin on the ground. Well, I think it's been a lovely day, and I would like to propose a toast. May we always be as happy as this. To the three of us. Well, until he dumps you and runs off with your best friend. Well, that's not going to happen, Tracy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cam doesn't have any friends. <laughs> no, I was only joking. Actually, Tracy, Gary's not going to be my boyfriend anymore. I bit my foot in it. No. Um, he's not going to be my boyfriend because he's asked me to marry him. And I've said yes. You say something. Oh, losers! I take it this means she doesn't want to be bridesmaid. <laughs> 